we'll be discussing about the really two transitions that, that occur when we have uh, we have an uh, electron in, in, in some uh, lower energy state and when we uh, supply some external energy to this electron this electron makes a transition to to higher order energy levels and uh, at the same time this this electron can uh, can de-excite and uh, and any kind of the radiation that it has uh, it has obtained so 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 the phenomenon in which we have uh, uh, we have a transition uh, of this electron from uh, from say ground state to some higher high energy state. Uh, this is what's called as absorption, and uh, and for this electron uh, does not stay uh, in, in in the excited state uh, state. It stays there for 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 a very short span of time uh, of the order of ten to the power of minus eight seconds, and. Uh, and de-excites and comes back to its uh, ground state and, and while coming back uh, it emits uh, uh, radiation. Uh, and, uh, and then we have another category here which is uh, uh, the, the stimulated uh, emission of radiation where we, we already have an electron in an excited state and, and, and the photon is supplied in such a way to, to moderate the uh, the, the, the transition of this electron which is in a higher energy state uh, and, and this, this phenomenon leads uh, uh, to have photons in phase and, and, and becomes the, the basic principle for, uh, for, for the laser action. Now what is important here is that, that, that we can semi-classically uh, demonstrate, we can semi-classical, uh, semi-quantum mechanically I should rather say uh, we can describe uh, the, the phenomenon of absorption uh, of energy and the phenomenon of uh, 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 and, and the stimulated uh, emission of energy. But uh, uh, what, what seems to be happening uh, in all the domains uh, uh, around us uh, is the spontaneous process. And, uh, uh, and, 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 and some uh, quantum mechanical treatment uh, is not an effort. Uh, to explain uh, this uh, this phenomenon uh, of having this uh, spontaneous emission, because the, the spontaneous emission can take place even in, in the absence of uh, the, the external radiations. So, to account for uh, for the complete explanation uh, of the absorption uh, and spontaneous emission and the stimulated emission, all of these three phenomena can be explained using. Uh, using field quantization, the, the quantization of uh, uh, electromagnetic fields. So in this uh, video we will be uh, discussing uh, the, uh, the... So in this video we'll be, uh, uh, we will track down uh, and use out uh, the, the creation and annihilation operators uh, where we will start from uh, the quantized field equation and we will see all the three phenomena will, will, will naturally occur when, when we quantize uh, the field that, that, that interacts uh, with, with the electrons. Uh, I'll be talking about the, the absorption of photon. Uh, I'll, I'll take a state, uh, say, the, the state 1 and, and state 2. Uh, the state 1 has energy E1 and the state 2 has energy E2. Now, uh, if I have an electron in, in the state 1 and a photon uh, will, will interact with this electron and, and this electron will be excited uh, and, uh, and this electron will, uh, will have another state, uh, what I assume here as the state 2. And, and here we will have complete quantum mechanical treatment for absorption and then maybe in the next video uh, uh, we'll be talking about uh, uh, spontaneous uh, uh, emission and, and stimulated emission. So here uh, in this video, uh, what am I? Uh, what's what's my intuition is to uh, is to is to is to is to is to write down uh, the, the the quantized field equation uh, for electron and photon uh, and and understand the transition of the electron from uh, from the state uh, one to state two, and and before proceeding from here, we we must have. Uh, 
the anti-commutation relations for fermions, uh, for fermions, uh, anti uh, uh, and, 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 and annihilation operators, then what we have is, uh, say, bi and, and bi dagger. So this is going to be equal to zero. Uh, or I have uh, bj or, and bj dagger. Uh, this is also going to be zero. So uh, so these two operators, uh, the, the, the annihilation operator and, and the creation operator, they anti-commute with each other. Uh, they anti-commute with each other. Now, if we have two different states that we talked about uh, in the very first, if I have bi and, and bj dagger, uh, uh, they don't uh, anti-commute. Uh, they have a value delta ij. So, so this will be uh, the, the basic equation that that will be used uh, while uh, we discuss uh, this uh, this formalism for the absorption of photon uh, by an electron uh, in some state, uh, uh, in some in some basic state. And, and similarly, we have uh, what we have here. So, so here we had boson. Uh, sorry, fermions. Now, uh, in case of bosons, what is important is uh, suppose I have. Uh, a uh, a lambda uh, and uh, a lambda as the uh, annihilation operator and a uh, say uh, say uh, a j let me take in terms of i again a i and a j uh, as uh, the these these operators commute they they commute a i and a i dagger Okay, they commute, and if I have a j and a j dagger, they commute, and uh, if I have a uh, a i as the annihilation operator and a j as the uh, 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 as the creation operator, uh, uh, we have Kronecker uh, delta function for this as delta i j. So in this case, what we have, we have, uh, they, they commute, these operators commute with each other. I mean, AI and AI dagger. Now, what's AI is the, uh, it is the annihilation operator and uh, AI dagger is the uh, uh, creation uh, operator uh, in terms of bosons. So they commute. So bosons commute and uh, fermions, uh, they anti-commute. Uh, fermions anti-commute and, and bosons uh, commute. So, so this, uh, this, this will make some, some foundation for our discussion uh, in terms of uh, uh, in understanding the, the inter interaction of uh, radiation with, with the electron. So from here, uh, uh, we would like to start with uh, assuming that we have some level one and, and we have some level two. So what we are trying to do here is that that what we do is we, we take some electric dipole. Uh, I mean, uh, we take the electric, electric dipole uh, perturbing, perturbing Hamiltonian. Uh, in terms of, uh, uh, we write down it in terms of the annihilation and creation operators, right? So, so if this Hamiltonian is uh, HP as a perturbing Hamiltonian, uh, this is uh, the Ham Hamiltonian uh, uh, of the electric dipole, and, and this Hamiltonian can be written as sigma uh, H electric dipole uh, uh, and lambda j k then b j uh, dagger and b k and a lambda uh, minus a lambda dagger so uh, the symbols that uh, that that we have here is uh, this b j, j dagger it's 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 a creation uh, operator, uh, operator uh, for electron, and 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 B K is the annihilation operator, and A lambda is the uh, annihilation operator for uh, for the photon, and A lambda dagger is uh, uh, is the uh, creation operator for the photon. So what we have is uh, we have 
two states and we want to we want, we want to do, boil down this uh, uh, this discussion uh, to 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 simple simplest of states state 1 and and state 2 that means what am i trying to uh, say here is that what we do is we we presume that we have only one electron uh, in the in the state 1 and that it has only two states of interest state 1 and and state state 2 so the, the this lowest state uh, don't be confused with the equation here now if i assume that i have this as state 1 and and this as state 2 with energy e1 and energy e2 so this lowest state uh, 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 electron state has the energy E1 and the upper electron state uh, has the energy uh, uh, E2. So in this case, we have three possibilities. Uh, the first possibility is that, uh, that a photon can be absorbed uh, by this electron and this will lead to photon absorption. Uh, and the next thing is that once the electron is in the in the excited state, uh, uh, it will spontaneously de-excite to, to, uh, to the state one, and we call this thing as uh, spontaneous emission. Uh, and finally, we can we can we can moderate uh, uh, the energy of the electron in state two in such a way that the photons that are emitted, while making a transition from two to one, uh, they will have the same phase, and which will automatically lead to stimulation. Uh, emission of uh, energy so uh, so uh, what we uh, assume here is that this uh, the, the electron is in state one the electron is in state one uh, which is the lower state uh, and uh, there is one photon mode only there's only one photon mode and, and let me name that as as lambda one uh, and uh, and and there is n there is not any other photon. There are no other photons in any other modes. So uh, so uh, so I would like to write down this state. So if I write down this state as uh, uh, N uh, F S and N uh, B S. Now this. Uh, this part uh, is is a, is the representative of the uh, of the fermions, and and this part is the representative of, of the the bosons. And to write down this state for the electron in in the state one uh, is uh, I would like to write down this uh, in terms of uh, 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 some subscript as B one dagger. So uh, this is the the creation operator uh, with the uh, uh, with the creation operator of the photon as a uh, a lambda one dagger uh, in the ground state e1 so this is my predefined state uh, for my problem where uh, i have an electron in state one and and this electron uh, has an interaction with one photon and writing down the the state in terms of uh, in terms of the operators so b1 uh, is the uh, it's the creation operator uh, for the electron and a lambda 1 is the creation operator for the photon so to move from here is uh, uh, now what we have we have e2 and we have e1 and we have a single lambda one mode of photon and we have an electron now this uh, energy uh, i mean this state will have an energy this state will have an energy equal to e1 plus h omega uh, lambda one this will be the total energy of the state one that we have been talking about here and for the sake of simplicity, uh, we will omit here uh, the zero point energy. We will not take into account the zero point energy, uh, which is probably uh, uh, of the, which is probably one by two h cross omega lambda one. So, so what we are trying to do here is we we are omitting the zero point energy of the harmonic oscillator. Uh, uh, that is uh, this additional term one by two h cross omega lambda one. And and, and this change merely uh, corresponds to to the choice of the energy origin. It's not going to uh, make uh, the, the, the much of difference here. So, uh, in over uh, perturbation theory. 
uh, I mean, uh, the time dependent uh, uh, perturbation theory, what we have perturbation theory. We have, uh, we define C kill dot. So, so Q is some final state uh, with the order one, uh, one by I H cross E X P times uh, I times uh, E Q minus E S times T by uh, H cross and and multiply this whole thing uh, with, with the matrix element of our state. And what's that? That is NFS and uh, N uh, uh, BQ and uh, the, the perturbing Hamiltonian and NFS and NBQ. So now uh, we have the symbols here and, and these symbols have their usual meanings and we have already defined the, the, the state uh, as uh, uh, composed of the fermionic state and bosonic state and this matrix uh, element operates uh, uh, on the perturbing Hamiltonian. Now what is going on here is uh, uh, as, as the time evolves uh, to have any, any non-zero result uh, for, for the amplitude CQ that we have here uh, of the state Q. Uh, what is required here is uh, uh, is is the non-zero result for, for for this amplitude. So this matrix element has to be non-zero. So uh, uh, so that's the, the that's the important uh, requirement uh, for 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 for. For, for, for the transition that will take place, the transition for this electron to some final state Q. What is important for that is that this matrix element, what's this? Uh, NFS, uh, NBQ, uh, HP, uh, NFS, NBQ. Uh, this should not come out to be equal to zero. That is the, the prerequisite uh, here uh, for our problem. So what can we do is uh, we would like to, to operate this, uh, this Hamiltonian uh, on our state and, uh, and uh, what we have then, then we have HP and we have to operate this on our state NFS, NBS, uh, 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 like this. So uh, we can write down this as sigma HED uh, lambda J. Uh, lambda j k uh, and and b j uh, dagger and and b k times a uh, lambda minus a lambda dagger uh, then b one uh, b one uh, dagger a lambda one dagger to the basic state to the ground state zero. So uh, uh, what we have here is uh, we have we have the operator for for the state one as as uh, as B one dagger and uh, since we have chosen only a single photon mode so we have a lambda one dagger so dagger is uh, is the is the is the representative of the creation operators so what we have we have creation operator for jth electron uh, we have annihilation operator uh, for the fermion and 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 we have uh, annihilation operator for photon and we have creation operator for photon so we would like to examine these operators that have been included here uh, in this equation so in order to do that uh, let us go with this b j dagger and, and b k uh, times a uh, a lambda minus a lambda uh, tagger then we have b1 tagger then a lambda 1 tagger okay on the state zero and what we can have is uh, we can we can we can simply tra transfer this b1 dagger to this side so we have bj dagger bk and i can write b1 uh, dagger times uh, Okay. At the same time, I, I would like to uh, take this a lambda one inside. So this is a lambda. This is a lambda one dagger minus a lambda dagger uh, and 
a lambda one dagger, close it and have the same state. Now, uh, we can think in terms of this uh, BK and, and B1 uh, dagger. Now, these two uh, fermionic operators, uh, they anti-commute with each other. So if they anti-commute with each other, so if I had to write BK and, uh, and, and B1 dagger, if I have to write their uh, anti-commutation relation, that will be... So I would like to make a box here for this equation. I don't want to lose it. Uh, so here I can have BK and, and B1 dagger plus B1 uh, dagger BK is delta K1. So this delta K1 is the Kronecker uh, delta function. So BK and B1 dagger. So BK and B1 dagger will be delta K1. K, uh, L, K1 minus B dagger BK. So I would like to use this result uh, in this equation, in this equation that's in the box. So let me proceed from there. So how would it look like? It will look like BJ dagger is there uh, and I will put a bracket here, delta K1 minus B dagger and B uh, and B1 dagger and BK. B1 dagger and uh, BK. I'll close it. Okay, then what's left over here is uh, inside. Okay, what I have, A lambda, A lambda 1 dagger. I can also use the, uh, here I can use commutation relation between the bosons. So what will that give me? Uh, that will simply give me, uh, uh, what will that give me? That's going to give me, uh, delta lambda lambda 1 plus uh, uh, a lambda 1 dagger a lambda a lambda 1 dagger a lambda I'll close it oh I can't close it I have the third term a lambda dagger uh, a lambda 1 dagger did I write that no uh, a plus a lambda dagger uh, a lambda 1 dagger close and put up the state. Now uh, in this equation uh, what we see is uh, for uh, for bosons uh, I mean the annihilation operators should not exist in this equation. The annihilation operators uh, should automatically uh, boil down to zero because uh, because uh, uh, because there are no other modes of uh, of, of photons present in our uh, in our assumption, and and we don't have any annihilation uh, here for uh, for for the fermions and, and for the photons. So for that case, this term has annihilation operator, so it will boil down to zero. Uh, this term has annihilation operator. This term will also boil down to zero. So what we'll be left with is B J dagger uh, times. Uh, delta k1 and then uh, then we will have delta lambda and lambda 1 and a okay uh, a lambda dagger and a lambda 1 dagger is everything is okay or, or something is wrong I, I feel some thing is so this will exist as uh, okay this will go but this will exist as independent so why am I multiplying it so uh, here I'll have a bracket so I would like to write delta lambda lambda 1 plus a lambda dagger a lambda 1 dagger closing okay so uh, I have two states here, and one is uh, delta K1, delta lambda lambda 1, and BJ dagger 0. And I have another state here, and what's that? That is, uh, uh, and that is going to be here. I was having minus. I have done it wrong here. It's minus here. So here I'll have minus. So I'll have another state minus del k uh, uh, 
tell no tell lambda lambda one and del uh, lambda lambda one then b j dagger then a lambda dagger and a lambda one dagger all right now uh, with with this result that 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 we have obtained here uh, what we can do is uh, we can we can use uh, this uh, result uh, uh, in our uh, in our original uh, term uh, and what was that original term that original term was uh, uh, we were in state HP uh, as NFS and NBS uh, and this state is defined as as sigma uh, HED and uh, and lambda JK. Uh, then B J uh, dagger and B K times A lambda minus A lambda dagger and then B one dagger and and A lambda one dagger uh, on the state zero. Okay, so what we have done is is uh, we have evaluated this part and this part has uh, ha has been. Uh, has been divided uh, for, for for only two possible choices. The spot has been divided for only two possible choices. One choice is this, and another choice is this. So, uh, to write down these two choices, I think uh, the page has become messy. And uh, so, so when we have the form, like say uh, the matrix form that we have N F uh, Q and then n b q so q is the final state then we have the perturbing hamiltonian and writing down n f q and n b q uh, we have uh, what we have here is either we have the first possibility uh, the first possibility is the first possibility uh, that is for the state n f q n bq uh, is bj dagger and the second possibility is nfq and bq is bj dagger a lambda dagger a lambda one dagger so so these are the two possibilities where we can look for for, for the non-zero values because uh, uh, this uh, if this matrix vanishes uh, then then the amplitude uh, then, then the amplitude that 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 will obtain from here will be equal to zero now if i if i consider this uh, possibility that i'm talking about if i choose this possibility uh, uh, which is uh, basically uh, uh, the the state with one electron in the jth state okay and uh, uh, and and no photons there's no photon available in this state there's no photonic mode there's no photon this state will have an energy eq uh, equal to ej so uh, what we will have we will have cq dot uh, what's that that's one by ih cross uh, times uh, uh, i times E J minus E one minus H cross omega uh, lambda one times T uh, by H cross. Okay, and and this is multiplied by uh, H uh, E D lambda K L uh, delta K uh, one and delta lambda and lambda one and we will have uh, zero b j uh, dagger b j dagger zero all right so uh, uh, so what we can see here is that uh, uh, 
uh, that this uh, this term will will immediately be uh, equal to one. So we can we can boil down this result. Uh, so this thing, this whole thing is uh, is going to be equal to one, and and this delta k one and delta lambda lambda one will take care of sigma. So we can take uh, sigma out, and we can write down this amplitude uh, as uh, uh, c q uh, dot one. Uh, equal to 1 by ih cross uh, exp times i times ej minus e1 minus h cross omega lambda 1 times t by h cross times the Hamiltonian e t lambda kl so uh, uh, so from here, uh, from here, uh, what we what we make use of is, is the Fermi Golden Rule, and uh, we would like to directly use uh, 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 directly use uh, the the, uh, the the result of uh, Fermi Golden ro Rule, which is used uh, to calculate the transition rates. So what is that uh, uh, Fermi Golden Rule? Is uh, we will have the transition rate, say, uh, assuming that uh, that transition rate to be WQ. So WQ is, is the transition rate. So what we are using here is, is Fermi Golden Rule. Okay, so imposing down this equation. And, and this WQ is 2 pi by H cross uh, H. Uh, E D lambda K L whole square delta E J minus E one minus uh, H cross omega lambda one. Now this thing is the drop delta function. And so what we are finally calculating here is the transition probability, and what we have is uh, uh, we have this uh, this whole thing, this whole shit is multiplied by this uh, this uh, Dirac delta function, and uh, if we take uh, where from we started, we started from a level e one with state one, and level two uh, with energy e two, and and we chose. Only single photon uh, with the mo with the mode uh, equal to lambda one, and we have an electron in this state. Okay, so now uh, what we have is we have the drag delta function delta e j minus e one minus uh, h cross omega lambda one. Now, if uh, uh, if this j is equal to one, now for j equal to one means uh, uh, for the same state. So what will this delta function be? This delta function will be E1 minus E1 minus H cross omega lambda 1. So inside this delta function, we will have non-zero value. So uh, so, uh, so what will happen is, is this, this whole function uh, will lead to zero. And uh, so the only final state that we have defined, predefined as the Q state, uh, that will give the transition rate for our problem is the state j equal to 2. And if we choose j equal to 2, what's going to happen here is we will have delta E2 minus E1 minus H cross uh, omega lambda 1. And, uh, and uh, this, uh, uh, this will, uh, this will, this will certainly make uh, make the difference. I mean, when E2 minus E1 is equal to H cross omega lambda 1 is allowed. And this is the only possible value. And this value will uh, automatically lead uh, to, to the absorption. So what happens finally in our process is that we... we uh, we start with one photon mode lambda one and the electron in the state one. We finish with no photon. There's no photon uh, available and the electron is in state two. And this is, uh, 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 this is an exemplary uh, way of uh, demonstrating the normal absorption process. And, uh, and now requiring the, the destruction uh, 
uh, of the photon uh, in the process. So the, the photon that has been neutralized, it's gone, it's destroyed, it's, it's annihilated, and we have automatically uh, uh, electron in, in the state two.